The Shaded Castle may very well be the darkest blemish on the beautiful land of the Altus Plateau. Not only was it surrounded by a deadly poisonous moat, but it was home to a royal family of executioners known as House Marai. Led by Malay Marai, the castle slowly deteriorated into the poor condition we tarnished found it in. However, it wasn't solely his doing. Elmer of the Briar played a pivotal role in the downfall of the Shaded Castle and House Marai. In this video, we're going to explore exactly what occurred in the darkest recesses of the Altus Plateau. If we turn to the Marai Mask item description, we learn that this headpiece is customarily worn by the head of House Marai. So it's safe to infer that Malay is the Lord of the Shaded Castle due to the fact that he was found wearing it. Interestingly enough, when we first encounter him, he is located outside the rampart walls, an important detail due to the fact that he's royalty. Upon entering the throne room, we see none other than Elmer of the Briar admiring a large portrait of Millennia, Goddess of Rot. But what was he doing there? The item description for the Briar set states that the winding, rusted iron briars are a mark of the guilty and typically indicate a sentence of death. It further states that he was guilty of murdering numerous instructors and merchants and became known as the Bell-Bearing Hunter. The flavor text for Mirai Executioner's Sword reveals that not only was the Shaded Castle the intended site for Elmer's looming execution, but that he snatched the sword and furnished it with battle skills from his homeland of Eakade. It seems that at the moment of his execution, the Bell-Bearing Hunter not only escaped, but wielded the storied Executioner's Blade and went on a rampage killing countless and exiling Malay in the process. This would explain why Malay is found outside of the Shaded Castle. Upon his defeat, we learn that he was wielding the Ant Spur Rapier, which was fashioned to honor his personal belief in the old legend of the Scarlet Rot. Malay's traditional robe also reveals that, quote, the sons of House Marai were all sickly born. Little wonder that Malay Marai would be so beguiled by the beautiful and fierce goddess who was born into Rot. It's only natural for someone whose children were afflicted since birth to seek a goddess that shared their ailments. In the end, Malay's worship of Millennia did little to aid him in his time of need. The bell-bearing hunter would escape his execution and usurp Malay's rule, taking the shaded castle and a legendary weapon as his prizes. Elmer of the Briar would soon meet his end, but little did he know that it would come in the form of a frenzied man holding a torch. And that's all for this video. Until next time, it's the Inhuman One, signing out.